bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesiae Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, An Everlasting Covenant. Our scriptures are found in the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verses 1 through 8, and verses 15 through 21. We could focus on the fact that a covenant is not just any old contract, and that covenants are a lot more serious and binding than a contract. How a covenant originated with God will be fulfilled by God and can't be contested or played to human advantage by loopholes. We could even go deep into the heart and intent of a contract, being between two men who will one day die, putting in writing that they promise to perform certain actions, but really can't completely trust each other. Unlike an eternal God who can't die, can be completely trusted, who gives life through his word, and who has the power and intent to fulfill his agreement with or without you. But instead, let's look at some factors that are very important and a help to our human understanding of what to expect when God makes us a promise. First of all, like it or not, God's promises take time. Abraham and his wife, Sarah, had waited 13 long years since the birth of Ishmael to receive a visit from God, who now reintroduced himself as El Shaddai, or the Almighty. Have you ever waited 13 years to hear further instructions from God? Whatever had happened in that time over a decade, it didn't change God's plans or timing, nor had it stopped God. This is very important for us to know. Abram and his wife had tried to help God, force God, work their own plan and call it God's plan, get mad at God, express impatience, and they had even gotten fed up with God. And all they did was create more trouble for themselves. Do you see what we can and should learn from them? No matter how long it takes, God expects us to be willing and obedient. And remember, God isn't phased by time. So if he wants to bless your bloodline and you neglect your part of the agreement, he'll just carry the covenant onto your son or grandson. God will keep his word and his covenant. God can choose to give you as many details as he pleases about what he will do, or he can choose to give you none. We tend to think that life would be easier if God just told us everything ahead of time. But would it really matter? When God is doing something unbelievable, something that has never been done before, something that you wouldn't recognize even if you saw it in motion, all you would do is second guess him in doubt and unbelief anyway. God saves us the trouble and only tells us what we need to know when we need to know it. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.